<sighs> What's happening, YouTube? It's Yankee So Knife here. Um. So. I wanted to make this video to tell you guys why I'm excited about Season 4 of High School DxD. But first, I want to give you a quick run through of what, I, of what the series is about in case you never saw it, and just in case you're thinking of seeing it. And there are going to be some spoilers in this video, so make sure you're ready. <clears throat> so, High School DxD is basically about a. is basically. My take of it, since I see it all the way through like four times, I watch it all the way through again for a fifth time, because it's just funny as hell. It's 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 fun. It's fun. It's a fun too. <sighs> to me. High School DxD is, boy named, is about a boy named Issei Hyoto, who then, who dates a fallen angel, then gets killed by her, then comes back as a devil in the first episode. Then in, then he meets a nun named Ozzy Argento, who's in the source of the fallen angels. She dies in the third episode, gets brought back to the third episode because her and then she becomes the bishop to Reese Grimmery, just like in the first episode. And, and in the first episode, Issei Hyoto becomes the pawn to Miss Reese, Gr Reese, to Miss Reese Gr Grimmery. Then, of course, in the ninth episode, I mean, then, of course, in the eighth episode, and then. I mean, in the seventh episode. <coughs> Sorry, guys, keep going back for between the episodes. But in the eighth episode, we get introduced to Reese's fiance, a Sir Riser Phoenix. And I put Riser Phoenix in air quotes because he's only but a giant tool that has a harem of hot women, including his own sister. Now tell now you tell me that's not sick or now tell me now tell me that's not sick. Having your own sister in your harem. To me that's really sick. That you have that to me that's really sick that he has a sister in his harem. He tries to go after He says he tries to go after Rise Riser, but then a pawn of a riser steps in, knocks his head to the ground. Uh. Uh. All right, guys. Uh. Then it's then. So easy gets taken by a pawn of riser phoenix. The next episode. Then in episode eight, they're training for a raiding game, which is a big battle. And it's pretty much like the game of chess. Now, now of course, now of course, Rias has eight pawns, but she uses eight pawn pieces she uses all, all eight of her pawns on Issei. She has two knights but she uses one knight on Yuto, Kiba Yuto. She has two bishops. One bishop is locked up and he's half vampire half human which we don't meet him until season two. One queen and that is her queen is is and always will be Akino Majima, a fallen angel slash devil. I say slash devil because her father is actually a fallen angel.
then, of course, for she has two rooks. One rook will go to a woman named Ross Foster, who we don't meet until until season three. And then her second knight will go to one will be used to a woman named Zenobia, who we won't meet until season two. And then her rook, her first rook is a is a Nekomata girl named Konako Tojo. Toju, or Tojo. I don't know. I don't care. But then, of course... And, of course, her first bishop is a, is a girl named Asia Argento, who we'll meet until episode three. Now, no, no, again, no, no, once again, they, once again, once again, they go about training. Easy comes up with this really awesome technique. Well, I think it's awesome. Some people might think it's perverted, called dress break. Where he basically just. Where he. It'll, it'll touch the girl. It'll touch the girls on like t on like different body parts, like their shoulders and stuff like that, or their legs. It'll stop his fingers, and then their clothes will just magically pop off. And I think it's fun. And I think that's funny. So, we surrender because she doesn't want to easily get killed. Then, of course, the of course in the season finale, of season one, Issei interrupts interrupts the engagement party. Challenge rides of the battle. Gives up his left arm for to the dragon side because there is a dragon sign named Drag. That's D D R A I G. Drag. They then he goes full balance where he starts whooping Rises 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 ass. Then he has a cross in holy water. He punch he jumps holy water on Rises. They Punches Riser in the gut. He wins. He wins, and his prize is Rius Gremory. Which she thanks him. It, oh, and but there is something I want, I want to mention. Um, in the same in that same episode where we meet Riser, <laughs> Rius pretty much wants to give her virginity to Issei. Issei. Okay, she wants Issei to take her to take her virginity, and and it's it's obvious Issei wants to give his virginity to Re to Rius. Now, of course, I can't not mention this series without mentioning the hilariousness of season two. Because let's let's see, um, Kiva sees a holy sword in that picture in season one, episode two. In season two, episode one. But of course, I can't really really acknowledge that until I mention until. Say something else, and that's the fact that 
at the end of season one, episode 12, at the end of the episode, Rius has her very first kiss with Issei. First kiss. You're hearing correctly. First kiss with Issei Hyodo. Oh, of course, Ozzy moves in with 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 Issei. Then uh, Re, then Re moves in with Issei and Ozzy at the end. And then, of course, some other crazy shit happens. Of course, a bunch of crazy stuff happens after that. Like, like uh, let's see. Now, of course, now on to season two. So it's basically like I said, it's season two, episode one. Kiba sees a holy sword in a photo with Issei and this girl that looks like a guy. And Eden Ashido. Eden comes back as a holy sword wielder with Zenovia, who is the second knight of Rian's memory. Which, of course, uh, we get to meet everybody. Which, of course, then, after the fact, we get introduced to yet. Of course, after we get introduced to the second night, we then get introduced to somebody new. We then get introduced to Cocobeal. Who is essentially the leader of the dark, the fallen angels. And then, and of course, we also get introduced to Azazel, who is the actual leader of the fallen angels. And he basically is a client of Issei's. And I, by client, I mean like sex client, because they don't do that type of shit. They don't do that, they don't do that type of stuff, okay? What they do is basically something different. What, what they do is that they grant humans the power. Through magic cards or or, or flyers with a magic circle on them. I think we're on about that long enough. Now, um, um, then we can introduce. Then of course, after the whole holy sword debacle thing we, we learn about, we get to the end of episode five of season two, where we where Azazel then introduces himself to Issei Hyodo. As, as, as Azazel, the leader of the Fallen, the Governor General of the Fallen Angels, and then of course, after that, we get introduced to, and then, and then, well, of course, before that, he says at a karaoke bar with his best friends Matsuda Motohama, this really, not really cute chick, but not really ugly chick. Who also has a nice rack? Aika Kiryu, Kiba, and Azia, who they get in. Well, and of course, but for that, and but of course, Re, of course, Akina also the ones to crush on Issei in the following episode. I mean, in the episode prior to, in the episode prior to episode five, episode four, and then in, and then of course, in all seriousness. Seriousness, the girls end up fighting over Issei. Like, liter like literally. Okay, Akino and Rius end up taking selfies of each other. Not each other, each other. Like, Rius takes, picture, takes a selfie of her in a bikini, and 
I'm gonna do the same thing. Selfie. And then they both send their selfies to Issei, and then he's like, And, oh my god, it is so hilarious. <laughs> to see these girls, who are actually best friends, fight over a guy. And then the next episode, they go to a pool, where Zenobia... Then, of course... Issei's rubbing lotion on Rias, and then, of course, she goes straight around, so he's taking her rubbing lotion on her boobs, which she loves. Then, Agatha steps in, and then, Lucy just start going, and Rias and Agatha just start going at it. <laughs> Rias says that Agatha hates men, which... begs the question! If Agatha supposedly hates men, then why does she have well, why does she have a thing for Issei? Like, is she bisexual? Like, is like is she bi? Or is she straight? And then of course Akio says says all men look the same. <laughs> Then Reese gets the heck out of Dodge, and then Zenobia, who's on the second night of Re who's on Reese's second night, and wants to make a baby with Issei. I mean, I don't know what the words were thinking when they had, when they had, when they had this line introduced in the English dub. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, someone tell me. Was this line, was that line ever in the, was that line ever in the Japanese? Because I've only seen the, I've only seen the English dub. I only ever plan to see the English dub. Because it's awesome. But someone please, tell, someone please, tell me in the comment section below. Is, does Zenobia want to make a baby, does Zenobia ever want to make a baby with Issei in, in the Japanese version? Like I said, please, let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, then, of course, the... Oh, was it the next day? Because it is, actually. Um, well, we get issues to... Then, of course, it's open house. And then Issei... And that... It's open house, I believe. And then, of course, the whole thing... I think it was the whole thing with, well... What else? But family gets drawn in. Oh, and of course, this of course in season two, we get introduced to the White Dragon Emperor Volley. Also, it was Albion the Vanishing Dragon. Now, Now, of course, now I cannot mention this episode without mentioning the fact that, for one, Rius brings condoms to school. And, of course, I cannot mention episode one or episode five without mentioning the fact that what happened last episode was that, like I said, what happened last season, like I said, was that Issa gave up his arm to drag, and then what is, and of course, there's only one kind of cure. And Issei! <laughs> and the only kind of cure that, and there's only one cure for it. And Issei loves it! Because <laughs> it gives him some sexy low time with Akino. <laughs> and what I mean with that is that Akino literally sucks on Issei's fingers! To get the dragon energy out. I mean, it's... <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. I cannot... I mean, it's impossible for me to not say this without laughing. It's just so funny, and yet so erotic for some weird reason. Like, I feel like it literally turns them on. 
And they, I think it literally turns him on that his fingers are getting sucked by a hot chick. Like Akino. Then, of course, the they happens at the pool, but except this time, Akino gets on top of his dick. And I think he wants and then, and then to. If you know what I mean. Now, of course, my favorite part about the episode. Now, of course, back to the episode where. Now, of course, there is an episode where Zenobia brings condoms to school. And then, of course, Issei. And of course, Issei also makes a statue of Rius. Which is. Which looks exactly like her. It's down to. It's, you got so much detail in one lump of clay. It's amazing. Now, then, much other stuff happens with, and then of course, Volley, the white the vanishing dragon. And we're on to the last. Then we're on to the last episodes where Volley then, then, this is. Have using they use what we call have dimension, and Azazel mentions to uh, Issei that if he that if he that have dimension basically basically divides everything in half, and Azazel mentions that Rizko's bus line will go down to normal size, and then Issei goes on a big old rant, rampage, full throttle beat down on Volley, while he mentioning that she races. Mitchie, Mitchie, Mitchie Reese's Melons, Akino's Knockers, Sonoma's Gazongas, Ozzy's Boobs, and Comico's Itty Bitty Titties. And then, of course, then of that, as I said, of course, by orders of, of Reese's sister, Sir Zax. Co Konico, Ozia, and Zenovia are ordered to move in. And that's that. So, then of course, then, and then of course, season three, Born comes in play. Where the house is a freaking mansion. We get introduced to Ross Faisa, Loki, um, Shaba, Shaba, Beelzebub, Konico's sister. And now, let me talk about this one. Now, episode seven and eight. Those see those episodes are funny. So let's see. There's let's, let's see. Zenovia, Ozia, and Akna are in see-through outfits. Akna's wearing a super short skirt, which shows her. Which shows her thong. And then Reese puts on a sexy devil devil costume. And then Argo ch changes into a skimpy bikini. And let me tell you, what to say skimpy? I mean, a wooga! A wooga! That kind of skimpy, baby. <laughs> And then those who go at it in the house. <laughs> and then of course the next episode <laughs> Easy Process to take Akuno out on a date. She starts giggling and she and Reese go at it in a big argument. And then we <laughs> It's just funny. It's just serious I don't want but it's just funny to me. And now, episodes 9, 11, and 12. I don't like these episodes. I don't, I don't like, I don't like the last half of episode 9 because it forces Rhea to attack Issei. I don't like episode 10 because it forces Reese to attack with friends. I don't like episode 12 because it forces Issei to battle Reus. But then they, but then, then Issei saves her. And then of course, and then of course, according to what I read on, online, in the Japanese, Issei says opai. 
but in the English dub, he says, I love you. Someone please, in the comment section below, tell me what you think Re Issei says. Does he say, Opa, which means boom, or does he say, I love you? Because, I mean, I, cause, I mean, I would really love for Issei and, uh, and, and Issei and uh, Reese get, to get together, like, become an official couple. But that's my that's my thing. Now, and of course, Boss Faisa, who is a Valkyrie, then becomes a devil. Now, on to my hopes for season four. Now, now, Konoko, who is a Necromonda girl, or Necromonda demon, at first, she freaking hates Issei. She can't stand him. Then in season three, she starts warming up to him, and in season, and based on what I see in clips on YouTube, in season four, she wants to have sex with Issei. Because, because in, because in season three, he went to this forbidden form called Juggernaut. He's this forbidden power called Juggernaut Drive, which had his life force in half, which apparently the Necromon of Sage like powers can cure that. So Issei is pretty much getting cured from two cute girls. Kodiko and Akino. Where one girl sucks his fingers, the other girl I don't know I don't know what happens. And so that's why I'm feeling I'm gonna love season four of High School DXD. But my host for High School DXD season four in the show is that Issei and Rius get, get together. They stay together. We and hopefully we find out who the hell he had sex with. Because for some reason, according to the according to the manga, he has kids in the future. So, anyone, for the love of God, if you read the manga or if you've seen any episode of season four, don't let me know. Okay? Actually, do not let me know, okay? But for those of you who have not seen, but I really hope he had sex with Rias and I hope he has kids with Rias. So those were for season four. That's why I love season four, and that's my recap of, of the entire series. So, uh, thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure and make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified of future videos. And I'll catch you all next time. This is Chris Windy. Signing out. Peace.